Mr. Speaker, Brooke was a victim of human trafficking and child pornography at the age of seven. The nanny was selling Brooke on the marketplace of sex slavery in the United States. A small child sold sex in the United States, shameful. Brooke was scared, feeling alone, and didn't tell anyone about her plight. No one spoke about sex trafficking then, but sex slavery has been going on in the United States for a long time. Women and children forced into this scourge. Brooke, with the help of her mother, has spoken out against this evil. Congress has also spoken out. Congress passed a law last year that will change the way we address human trafficking in the United States. The Justice for Victims of Trafficking Act will provide and ensure that America provides grants to rescue and restore survivors like Brooke, grants to educate the public, law enforcement, and doctors and educators to identify, prevent, and prosecute human trafficking. Monsters that hurt victims will be prosecuted, the sellers and the buyers. And most importantly, the victims of slavery will be rescued, restored, and treated as victims of crime. Mr. Speaker, Congress has said that our children are not for sale. And that's just the way it is.